Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects, and this is the clip that I have, which I'm gonna make add the effect on. So I'll just start by creating a solid layer. The solid layer, you can just go with new and create a solid, or you can just use this plugin called Workflow. I'll leave this in the description if you wanna check it out. So in this solid, you're gonna add element. Yeah, you need element 3D for this effect. I know there's a latest update where you can import like 3D models, but I still like element 3D is render shading are dope so that's why before you get more into the video i like to give shout out to my website in my website right now there's a crazy bundle going on of my 3d title pack and my shake pack it's just going for 49 dollars in that bundle you are really getting like two packs in almost the price of one price can go up in few days so get it right now i'm gonna use shake pack in this video too back to the video and in the description you'll find a polar model of this with the photo so big shout out to the creator who made this this is a really dope model as you can see the reflection are really good the texture are really good this is a completely free model so to download it go to download 3d model and just download the ovj of it you can save it where you want i'm gonna just name it photo photo for now and just save it here you can just extract this and go over to source and extract this too so to import it we're gonna go over to scene setup and just hit import and you just have to locate where you saved it like here you can I'm, I'm gonna just open this okay and you can see the photo is open you can just hit normalize size to make it big and you can see the model is in our scene so to change this photo from this lady to an artist or anyone it's really simple to do so let's just exit out of scene setup for now and go over to project and we're gonna drag and drop the texture of the model in here here and drag and drop it into a new comp like this and as you can see the photo is here so we're gonna replace so just import the photo you wanna replace and you can just put it in there and i'm gonna scale it up like that and lower down the opacity and take your pen tool now and you can just cut around the edges so it perfectly match like this and then turn on the opacity to the back to 100 and you can see the photo is replaced i could see the edges so i'm just gonna scale it up a little uh, like about here yeah then you can do some color grading we can add like lumetri color in here and just go over to basic correction and you can just play with the contrast highlights lower down the shadows you can play with the tint too uh, i will make it a bit warmer because polarized photos are a bit warmer you can even add like some noise into it if you want uh, yeah like that and we're done with the texture now so let's go back to my main comp and you can import this composition that you edited right now so i'm gonna just drag it from my project into my scene it's too big for me so lower down the scale like that and you can just hide this layer for now now to put photo of yours in here go over the custom layer go over the custom texture map and in layer one just set it as the layer that we edited that texture map that we just created and go over to scene setup again our oh, weight you can also go to layer 2 and set it as your footage so you can use it as an environment by the way let's go to scene setup again then you can just open up your photo and in textures go over to the fills and set it as your layer that we just created same thing with these two go over here and just set it as the custom layer one and for this two go over to call this and just set it as custom layer one then you can see that our artist photo is on the polar red we can go over to in environment and set the footage as our environment like we said before and we can also go with the glossiness and bump that up from those textures so we have a bit glossiness going on mm. then you can just create a little camera uh, i will make it uh, 15 millimeter and you can see our polaroid photo in our scene but we can still add some text in here so i'm gonna show you how to do it go over to the texture map layer again i think i will load this photo a bit too yeah it's fit perfectly now doesn't cut so fitted now let's go back in here and let's add some text in here so to add your text you can just right click go to new or add your text or if you have workflow it's simple and easy just hit text and you can see here your text is created 
the the fun size is really low so i'm gonna bring it up and here you can write anything you want like maybe i'm gonna write like baby tron his name baby tron like there and you can put it right here i want it on the frame so so this is the frame i'm gonna put it right here i'm gonna change the font to like you murdered i know the name is a little too weird anyways i'm gonna change the color to like red or something yeah red looks pretty cool you can scale it up put it right here then you can toggle switches and modes and go with blending mode and set it to like classic color burn or you can set it to other two you can play with it so darker color color burn i'll just set it to this for now then you can just lower down the opacity to really see the texture yeah it looks so realistic now like about here then you can add some gaussian blur and set it to one maybe like this then you can copy this again put it right here and you can just mm, uh, add whatever you want i'm just gonna i'm just gonna type in some random numbers <laughs> put it right here i'm gonna change this to black black blacks really looks green um i think i'm gonna lower down the opacity bring up the opacity a little bit uh like that you can put these over here too in the corners so let's rotate this and put it right here uh, about here like that so i'm gonna drag some tape texture into here this is from my bro brian ultimate texture model v2 i'll leave this in the description if you want to check it out you can use my code asim to get five dollar off while purchasing it's pretty dope it comes with a lot of paper textures and of course tapes too so we can use this tape on our artist photo somewhere so like about here we can put it over like here something like that i'm gonna drag something like this in here and lower down the scale again and just put it right over here but for now i'm just gonna lower down the saturation so it's like black and white you can add like levels into it to make it dark enough like that you can copy this and paste it into here too so the possibilities are endless with this pack i think i'm gonna add a text in the background too so i'm just gonna copy this and put it right here and uh, i'm gonna set the blending mode to normal you can set the blending mode to normal you can scale it up and you can write like whatever you want like let's just write 2024 with some question mark <laughs> that looks so goofy for you so after that go back into a main comp and you can see everything that we added is added here too and it looks so dope if we turn around the 2024 is there too oh it is flipped upside down uh let's rotate it like the yeah it is fixed now we're done with all those texturing stuff but you can see our 3d model is little too de-exposed right now so to bring back the exposure go to render setting go the physical environment and just you can bring it up the exposure a little bit play with the gamma to really get that look like that yeah it looks dope now go with the group one go with the group utilities and create null and group null and just hit create null and you will get a 3d null that controls the singular photo first of all i'll bring up the scale a little bit put it up then you can open up the whole transfer settings Just stop watching all of those put it right over here uh i guess right about here to be honest right over here and i'll push it back into my scene like this i'm gonna go over to the z rotation and do the one cycle in there too go further again further like that you can select all of these f9 to easies and go into graph go into speed graph and just make a simple graph like this like that my in animation looks like this i'll make the out animation now so i'll just go around here go make it go here like that 
go for the back then we can also play with the rotation value now oh, like that select those both keyframe go into graph oh that easy is messed up these graph i'm gonna make it the same graph now same thing with here like that the last thing you can go is do is go over to element layer again go over to ambient occlusion and just turn it on and set it to ray trace and in the description you'll find a paper overlaid for free you can just drag it down to your solid and it looks pretty cool with it you can you can always add like brightness and contrast and bump up the brightness a little bit make the contrast go a bit so i'm gonna add some effects in the background like a uh, hue and saturation hit the stop us in there go a bit further and lower down the opacity to zero like that not zero like 90 percent then you can add like cc vignette too and make the amount to zero first hit the stop us in there go a bit further and bring up the amount and lastly go to your element layer and go to settings go over to motion blur and just turn that on and you can set the sample to like 15 or so and the certain angles to 360 yeah 360 so we'll get those crazy motion blur and at last from my shake pack i'm gonna add a little shake so let's just open up my shake pack so for now i'm just gonna add the best one i'll remove the exposure from it and everything about it is really perfect for now then lastly creating another adjustment layer in that i will add noise and you can just bring up the noise a bit oh wait i forgot to add some blur into the background so lastly my result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys hit the like button if you like the video follow me for more videos like this see you in next video bye